You expect a German car to handle well above average, and the 4000S, right up there with the best of them. The power rack and pinion steering is very precise with excellent road feel. It threaded the sedan through the eye of every turn. Slow speed switchbacks revealed a mild case of understeer. The dipping and rolling of the front end looked severe, but actually it was smooth, predictable, and never interfered with cornering. And contrary to standard front wheel drive behavior, stopping on the brakes while turning produced even more understeer. None of the wild oversteer and rear end swing around that's so common. Steering is only moderately fast, three and a half turns lock to lock. During a high speed accident avoidance maneuver, it combines with the understeer to slow reactions just enough so the car doesn't overreact. You also have a lot of control with the well-designed power front disc rear drum braking system. While repeated panic stops from 55 required a lot of pedal pressure, there was little fade, no pull, and rock solid straight stops. Distances also qualified for high marks since an average of 108 feet is considered very good in anyone's book. Excellent proportioning meant only minor wheel lock. Combine that with the fact that the car's suspension is rather ordinary, McPherson strut front end and beam axle coil spring rear, and you have to be even more impressed with Audi's careful engineering. The 4000 isn't exactly light, 2,400 pounds, and its four-cylinder gas engine is only 1.7 liters. With that combination, you don't expect fireball acceleration. But it's still much snappier than most of its competition. A zero to 60 mile per hour time of 12.5 seconds rates at the better end of average for all cars. We were even more pleased with a reasonable passing time of 5.5 seconds from 40 to 55. You have to take all those numbers in the context of the mostly practical nature of the 4000. A lot of the credit for straight line performance has to go to the excellent hard linkage five speed transaxle. It's notchy when it's cold, but it does a nice imitation of BMW smoothness when warm. That means again, a good grade, 10 seconds and 52 miles per hour over our 500 foot stop like the stop light sprint. But okay, this Audi four door goes and stops and turns with class. But is it really a sedan you can live with over the long term? Our first clue to that lies under the hood. This front drive engine is mounted lengthwise, not side to side. That means a gold star for serviceability. From plugs to filters to fan belts, almost everything is within an easy arm's reach. Only the rear mounted battery caused any tester grumbling. The grumbling continued for some about the roomy interior. While tallish drivers found the bucket seats comfy with oodles of lower back support, shorter pilots complained of harshness. Plus, everyone wondered if the bright velour fabrics wouldn't quickly look like imported dish rags under constant use. And nothing could contrast more with the upholstery than the plain brown wrapper of a dash. Efficient looking all right, but dreary. Other faults include the fact that while a clear instrument cluster greets the driver, you have to find two other gauges down on the console. You'll also find down there this blank cutout where nothing goes at all. It looks cheap. However, your luggage never had it so good. A huge trunk swallowed our four bags without pause. But you might have to pause with muscle strain as you struggle with that three-suiter over the high rear sill. Another positive is fuel economy. The EPA rates the five-speed gasser at 31 city, 47 highway. Over our 100-mile urban loop, we experienced a gratifying 37. The optional diesel should be about 15% more economical. And the price for this mix of performance and practicality? Well, base for the four-door is $11,800. That includes such traditional luxury features as air conditioning and cruise control. Our 4000S totaled $13,600 and included one option of note, this double-acting hand-crank sunroof. It can be opened as a vent for gentle airflow or open it the more traditional way to let the sun shine in. All in all, the 4000S does have a lot going for it, but perhaps the only way to ever really know a car is to talk to someone who owns one. After owning an Audi 4000 for a year and almost 20,000 miles, I have mixed emotions. 
It's definitely the most enjoyable car to drive I have ever owned, but has been plagued with minor problems. Courtesy lights that worked sometimes, oil leaks, and an upshift light that never worked. And our final judgment, is the Audi 4000 S what it pretends to be? An unqualified yes. Well worthy of being compared to even the most expensive European sports sedan.